YouTube, what's going on with y'all, Ken Folk? It's your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Goat Weezy. Weezy F Baby, please say the baby. Back on the scene with a pocket full of green. Ain't no go back like two flats on a Cadillac, baby. Kweezy Leonard in the building. One legged Weezy, man. Thank y'all for coming back to the channel, rocking out with your boy once again. We got a special unboxing, man. Now, before we get into the unboxing, y'all know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to hoax smash that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that notification bell. Hey, make sure you hit that like button too, man. Hey, bro, all that is free 99. Help the channel grow, man. Hey, but nonetheless, I appreciate y'all. Like I said, if you're new over here, make sure you follow those instructions. And you're going to take off with your boy, man. Now, this nigga right here that I'm getting ready to unbox, bro. I had no idea I hit on this sneaker until one of my homeboys called me. He was like, bro, check your email. I'm like, all right. So I checked my email and I'm like, oh, snap, bro. Your boy just hit. But, hey, I'm excited because I don't never hit on no rappers, especially from social status. Like, this is my first social status win. And I've been in Charlotte going on three years now. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the unbox. Oh! Oh, oh, bro! Y'all saw that? Boy, that wasn't no, <laughs> bro. This wasn't no regular box, man. God, y'all see this? Good lord, social status, y'all. About to tip my head up, man. Lord, at least I got the address right. But let's open this thing, man. That box almost tore my head up. But boy, y'all see it? We chromed out. Look at that thing. Oh, I ain't, I ain't mean to blind y'all. But you guys see it. Off white box, chromed off white box. Bruh, the label reads Nike Air Rubber Dunk, not Duck. Black, green stripe, size 12. Retail was 190. Bro, retail was $190, bro. I ain't even know these joints cost $190, bro. Oh, well. We got it. Mm. Let y'all see that thing a thing. If it focuses. All right, so if you ever had an off-white, like this is my second off-white. The first off-white that I hit on, it was the Women's Vapor Street off-white. But the box has like the little off-white holes, the little holes punched in. Kind of reminds me of Swiss cheese. That's what I call it, the Swiss cheese holes. All right. Got our quality control stamp. And our sticker in that thing, if y'all can see that. If it focuses. All right, and we got our off-white paper. Off-white 2020. Why 2013? I don't know what that means, y'all. So if you know what that means, y'all can let me know in the comment section below and help me out. So, bruh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited about these. Ooh. And bang! Here we have it. The off-white rubber duck. What the hell did you just say? Dunk. Now, like I said, I didn't even know. I won these. I just put in for the raffle at social status and it's like, bro, I don't ever win anything there. So I'm just going to try just for the sake of trying. And like I said, my homeboy called me. He was like, go check your email. I'm like, all right, I'm going to check. So I check it and the joint said congratulations. So I'm like, oh snap, like your boy really hit, which is crazy. But let's go ahead and get into the review of this sneaker. Let's talk about these things just from the first look in hand of it. I was gonna sell these, but bro, I think I might mess around and keep these, you feel me? All right, so you guys already know this is the new collab with Off-White. Nike has been doing their thing as far as the Off-White collabs. Like, I can't even lie to y'all, I enjoy it. Like I said, this is only my second Off-White, which is crazy. And I'm looking at this sneaker, man. The details of this sneaker is crazy. Y'all know I'm gonna give y'all a B-roll, but I gotta talk about a few things before I actually give y'all the B-roll, all right? Now, Virgil said this sneaker was inspired by, I think it was two 
two sneakers, the Nike P6000 and the Nike Pegasus. Now, I'm going to put a picture up of the Pegasus, but I know you guys can, like, if you ever seen the Pegasus, this little hump right here, I call it the Achilles tear. Like, these are definitely on Pegasus. I'm not a real big Pegasus guy, but I do like other Nike runner and Nike trainer sneakers, all right? Like, I really enjoy them, but never been a huge fan of the Pegasus. And as far as the Nike P6000 goes, like these little rubber or patent leather lines along the sneaker right here, these are definitely modeled after the Nike P6000. All right, getting into further details of the sneaker, we have a rubber toe cap right here. Let y'all see that, that rubber toe cap. And also along the toe box, this material right here is suede. We have a suede material on the toe box. Down to the midsole, we already see the midsole similar to the Jordan 1 or other dunks, except we got that electric green. And I'm gonna call this green DX green. This green definitely reminds me of D-Generation X for some reason. So all my people who are literally my age or older, who are wrestling fans, y'all know D-Generation. The original DX, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, China, and then when Road Dog and Badass Billy Gunn and X-Pac came, those, that's the original DX. That's the, that's the crazy, uncensored DX right there. All right, and up along the upper, we have our rubber swoosh on this side, and we have a rubber swoosh on the other side with the off-white riding and the rubber on that. Also, the zip tie, the zip tie feels like it's felt right here, like, I won't say it's suede, but it's definitely felt. And we have our black shoelaces that says shoelace, <laughs> of course. And they do come with an extra pair, the extra pair of shoelaces, that DX green, that electric green for y'all. And on to the back, we have our rubber accent, our rubber Nike Air. So I see why they call it the rubber dunk. Like a lot of this stuff made off this is, it's basically rubber, man. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of this colorway at first. I enjoyed the UNC colorway. That's the colorway I wanted, but there was a yellow colorway as well, like a University Gold, I think it was. I wanted the UNC. Y'all know I'm a UNC guy. Anything UNC, I gotta have. I'm just surprised that I really hit on these because I was not expecting to hit on these. I took my L on the sneakers app, and I forgot I ended up hitting up social status on their little IG raffle. Like, I've never hit anything off of social status, which is crazy. So, shout out to you guys over at social status. I hope you guys keep showing me some love because them Union Fours coming out of your boy definitely need them Fours, man. But I'm going to give y'all some quick B-roll of these because I know y'all tired of me holding the sneak up and we're going to hop back and then we're going to end the video. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that B-roll. I know y'all got tired of me holding the sneak up. I know my arms got tired. I, I need that muscular endurance, you feel me? <laughs> but nah, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about these. I'm glad Virgil had a sneaker other than a Jordan that he, you know, he got to design himself. Like, I, I love it, man. And I, I thought I was going to sell these, but I'm probably going to end up keeping these, man. Like I said, it's only my second off-white. I know the resale isn't high. It isn't crazy high on it. So y'all let me know how y'all feel. Would this be a cop for you if you're copying uh, for resale? Or if you ended up hitting on the sneakers app or social status or any other sneaker boutique, man. But like I said, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. But anyway, once again, it's been your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Goat Wheezy. And as always, I appreciate y'all. Hey. 
If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out of here. Hit that notification bell, man, so you can... I don't know, man. Y'all got to become part of Great Nation. I, that's what I'm going to call myself. I'm the GOAT, so I'm going to say Great Nation. You feel me? But nah, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through again, man. And y'all know how I get out of here, baby. Love. Peace. And with all this beef, put some chicken grease on that thing. Go.